Hey, it's Joe, and welcome to another episode of the Test Guild Automation Podcast. Not sure if you've all heard it, but it finally happened. What? Well, Playwright has surpassed Cypress in weekly downloads. So what does it mean to you? Well, that's what this episode is going to be all about. So listen all the way to the end to find out the quickest way to get up to speed with Playwright for free. Check it out. So I first saw this on Philip Herrick's LinkedIn post that got 987 likes about Playwright surpassing Cypress, and he had a chart there. And the post had over 987 likes on it, so I figured this is something that you all would be interested in. So is this accurate? I don't know. Let me know if you're listening to the podcast at joe at testskill.com, or let me know in the comments below if you're watching the video version of this episode. But Based on GitHub stars, I predicted in my New Year's trend report in January that Playwright would eventually become the number one browser automation testing tool for this year. And I think this is one key indicator that this is actually taking place. One interesting comment on Philip's LinkedIn post, though, was from Diego Molina, who is one of the key contributors to Selenium. And it showed that Selenium Java downloads were at 98.5 million downloads in May whereas Playwright was, I think, around 6 million, to give you a little context. So it still has a little ways to go before it truly takes over Selenium. But anecdotally, I want to say most testers I speak to have or plan to moving to Playwright. So it's like the famous Wayne Gretzky quote, I skate to where the puck is going, not to where it's been. And that's why I think Playwright has a lot more potential. It kind of reminds me of when Windrunner and QTP were the number one automation tool and Selenium was just gaining popularity. No one, trust me, no one thought Selenium would ever overtake them, but eventually they did. And that is good and bad. Remember, Playwright is owned by Microsoft, the same folks that gave us Internet Explorer. So is anyone else here old enough to remember the browser wars of the 90s? If you don't, the U.S. Department of Justice and 20 state attorney generals filed an antitrust suit lawsuit against Microsoft in 1998, alleging the company's bundling of its Internet Explorer browser with Windows gave it an unfair advantage over competitors. So could they eventually do this with Playwright? If Playwright really gains in popularity to their competitors? I don't know. I personally don't get necessarily a lot of warm and fuzzies thinking of what Microsoft will eventually do if Playwright becomes the de facto standard. Also, once again, anecdotally, when Playwright first came out in 2020, I was able to get the program manager of Playwright at Microsoft on my podcast a few times. But since he left, I have like no contact or interaction with anyone on that team. And it's unlike Selenium and Cypress, which I'm able to get the information directly from either the main contributors or the creators. It feels like Playwright is a little more, it just feels a little more corporate to me, or a little more like you have to go over barriers to get in contact with some of these folks. Or it's more like, hey, look at me, we're Microsoft. I don't know. That's just my vibe that I'm getting off it. Could just be me. So it's not really community-based as I as I, as I think is like the other tools. Like if you go to Selenium, Cypress, those owners, those creators are very, very interested to speak with you uh, to, to share more. But like I said, I haven't felt that with Playwright yet, but maybe it's just me. But regardless of how I feel, what does it mean to you? Well, I, I think this is a great time now for you to increase your web automation skills with what is the hottest testing tool on the market right now. So that's why I'm really excited to announce that we just released a new free course called Automation with Playwright, Mastering Web Automation with AI. And this course is really going to help you stay ahead of the curve and what is in demand right now. So if you're listening, all you need to do to register is go to testguild.me forward slash play AI. Or if you're watching this video on any of those platforms, all you need to do is check out that link in the comment below. What's great about this course as well, it's hands-on. You're going to gain hands-on experience with real-world scenarios that's going to allow you to apply your newfound knowledge immediately. And what's even better, I got the top experts in this field, in genius, to be the instructors for this course. And their approach is really cool. They ditched the boring textbook lectures you may be familiar with and built the content around automation testing for a real app called Booking.com so you can stop being productive from day one. And also with all the rage around AI, they also threw in how you can leverage cutting edge AI tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot to really accelerate your learning and overcome a lot of coding obstacles they see people face in the real world. And our expert instructors have over 20 years of combined experience in web automation, 
So they really know what they're doing and they're gonna guide you every step of the way during this course. So if you're convinced, definitely register now. If you're not, I'd like to give you a quick sneak peek of some of the content you will get from this course when you register now. Check it out. Welcome to the Automation with Playwright. In this course, you will master web automation faster than ever before, all with help of AI. This course was crafted by expert instructors Vasil, Dan, and myself, bringing together over 20 years of combined experience in web automation. Just like you, I struggled to start coding when I was manual QA. Constant releases and the busy schedule were always an obstacle. That's why we designed this course with your busy life in mind. You've probably heard excuses like, I never had a chance to try my skills on the real project, or my manager never gave me an opportunity. Well, not anymore. With the power of ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, there are no more excuses. We've ditched the boring textbook lectures and built our content around a real website, booking.com. You'll start being productive from day number one. Our lessons are packed with a real-world experience from Fortune 500 companies and top-tier in consulting gigs. Plus, we've got a whole team ready to support you at three step on the way. Say goodbye to the dual theory classes. We're all about hands-on practical results here. Instead of boring lectures, you've been diving into the automating test cases and learning programming skills. Trust me, it's way more fun than the old school approach. And the best part, this course won't cost you time. It's completely free, so there's absolutely no excuse not to kickstart the automation journey right now. Ready to dive in? Let us do it together. Hey there, it's great to see you back. Now, let's dive into what you can expect from our course. Let's get straight to the point. First, let's talk about logistics. You won't be alone on this journey. Join our vibrant Discord community where instructors and your peers are ready to help you if you get stuck. We'll cover how to join in this module. If you ever have a trouble following our code, don't worry. We uploaded the completed code to the GitHub for your reference and you can find the link in the next video. Now. Let's chat about the course requirement. First, no coding background is needed. This course is designed for many OKA professionals with little to no coding experience. Next, you'll set up your automation environment. It's quick and painless, we promise. Then, we'll dive into the putting AI ChatGPT to work. Watch as it run your very first test and generate the code without breaking a sweat. After that, we'll tackle a real test cases with a ChatGPT. We'll show you how it can help you effortlessly debug and improve your test. Plus, we'll share some insider tricks to maximize your automation journey. And last but not least, setting up GitHub Copilot. This handy tool will be your sidekick as you tackle real-world test cases. We'll also include some exercises for you to flex those automation muscles and solidify your skills. By the end of this course, you'll have enough basic skills to practice what you've learned on your company's project. Thanks so much for attention and see you in the next video. All right, hopefully that convinced you to register. Once again, all you need to do is go to testskill.me forward slash play AI or check out the link in the comment down below if you're watching the video version. And for everything of value we covered in this episode, head on over to testskill.com forward slash A502. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild Automation Podcast. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers. Hey, thanks again for listening. If you're not already part of our incredible community of over 40,000 of the sharpest testers, DevOps, and automation professionals, we'd love for you to join us at jointestguild.com. Or if you're a software company or a test tool provider looking to deliver real-world value to our testing community, let's collaborate. Hand it over to testguild.co to book a call and explore how we can work together. Thanks for listening to the Test Guild Automation Podcast. Head on over to testguild.com for full show notes.
amazing blog articles, and online testing conferences. Don't forget to subscribe to The Guild to continue your testing journey.